Nigel, 2-2 draw, had a bit of everything but a great result. It was, good result away from home, we scored goals again, another two, got off to a good start. We knew we had to go and defend well here and uh, you know we've, we've broke from a counter-attack, Camille goes and gets off to a good start and we knew from all areas of the pitch the ball was coming forward, the, the direct nature that uh, Mill will play. And I thought the players did ever so well, what about Brandon Fleming making his debut in the Championship, I thought he acquitted himself ever so well, really pleased. Uh, we've lost players again through injury during the game, let alone coming into the game. So uh, the camaraderie was there for all to see. Scored a good goal, obviously we've just gone behind. Uh, but then to come back, scored a good goal from a corner. And, you know, you could see the competitive nature of our team was there for all to see yet again. Yep, and the grit and determination, of course, to keep on going, despite maybe 15 minutes, Millwall just getting on top, but we dug deep. We knew that, we knew that was going to happen, you know. It's, you know, we, we talked about in the preparation for the game, you know, you're setting yourself up in a, in a way to stop the ball coming forward. At the end of the day, they put the ball back to the goalkeeper and it's going to come the length of the pitch anyway. So it's coming in whether you like it or not. And they're very good at it. And he's had a team together for a long period of time. And uh, before the game, he was saying, we've got to get back to the way Millwall play. And so we knew it was coming in. We had to defend it. And the players have done ever so well because it was a very competitive game. Um, we've scored two again. You know, the last two away games, we've scored three in. In both games, we've scored two today. You know, we could have had a couple more. Um, but likewise, we've come away and um, we're going away with an away point, which is important. Good following, following thank you, because I know the, the trains were off as well, weren't they? So it was difficult for, for some people to come down, so we really appreciate the support. Um, and again, we've lost players through, through injury during the game. Brandon making his championship debut, which was fantastic. And uh, Andre was used to come on and Kevin Stewart to come on and see us across the line. It was really, really good. One defeat in seven, it shows that we are getting back to the ways, like the good results have been superb in the last few weeks. Well, you know, the, the results are there, you know, the momentum, the lads work extremely hard. Give them a lot of credit, they're working their socks off. I would have maybe liked a bit more quality when we had the ball mm -hmm. and attacking third, which we talked on, because I know we've got it. Um, but it was a competitive game and, you know, all in all, you've got to turn around and say, well done to the players because again, we've come away from home and uh, we're, we're, coming, we're coming away from Millwall with something which is always tough to do. Marcus, that game had everything. Talk us through it. Yeah, we knew. We know how it is to come to the den here against Millwall. Uh, yeah. It's a tough battle. I think we did well in the, in the beginning of the game. Um, also got a great goal with Camille. Um, unfortunately, uh, we wasn't sharp enough on, on, uh, on a quick throw in from Millwall and it got a... Yeah, and got a, we didn't block the cross as well. Uh, and then it is difficult for Brandon High meeting a, a player who is much, much higher, much, much bigger. And this is the quality of Millwall. Um, and parts of the game, it was tough for us, but I think the way we defend and the way we were scrapping for each other, uh, we did it well. So we are pleased with the one point today. Yeah, because like you say, there, the first 15, 20 minutes of the second half, we was under the cost to be truthful. We didn't have a shot. We had to dig deep, weather the storm, but then we got our rewards after it. Yeah, definitely. I think... We were clear on this. We know how Millwall plays. They, they have one, two passes and they just kick it, boot it up. Uh, luckily, I think we, we fight it well. We won a lot of the first first battle and also the second balls. Uh, but I think if we have been a little bit more calm, played a little bit better, we could have created more chances and maybe take them to the cleaners, you know. Uh, but, but at the end, when the game went as it went, uh, we were satisfied with one point today. Do you reckon, do you wish you could play in the capital a little bit more? Two goals in two games? <laughs> yeah, lovely. This is now two times now I'm, uh, we have actually changed that I'm standing in front of the goalie and, and both of the times I have scored. So maybe I am a little fox in the box, maybe. <laughs> and one note on Brandon Fleming as well. 90 minutes in a hostile ground with hostile fans. Performed admirably, didn't he? I think Brandon was brilliant today. Yeah, you see you see already from the beginning, he won his battle. He was calm on the ball. He, he did exactly what we expected from him, uh, even more. Um, so I'm proud of him. You see now we have a lot of youngsters who are doing it well from Hull. That's that's a big positive, and I think more more young players will come as well. And all the hard work and determination means one defeat in seven games, so it's starting to come together nicely. Yeah, I think we have, we have found a way to play now. We have found a team uh, where everybody works for each other, and also we have we have some qualities on on on, on top there with with Jazz Camille that can create something for uh, by themselves. So. Uh, it's important, you know, it's important to take a point here, it's a tough place. Uh, if you lose it, you start a little bit on scratch again. Um, luckily, we can keep on the, the confidence and we're already looking forward to, to Brentford at home now.